wanted to share this with you because it's just a bit of fun really. I mean what we've got here obviously is a blank screen. What I'm going to do is hold a polarisation filter up in front of the camera. So there's the blank screen and there's the computer. And back to the blank screen and back to the computer. Okay so I can see that being quite useful actually. LCDs work because they have the really bright light behind them and it comes through something called a polarisation filter. What it is, is like a grid with lines going that way and the light that comes through can only travel in one direction. When it's given out, it's all over the place. The grid makes sure it travels in one direction. It then goes through the LCD screen itself. Now LCDs twist that light around so it's coming in one direction it gets twisted. Now it hits a second polarisation screen where that grid is in the opposite direction so only the light that's been twisted can actually come through and you can see it. If it's not being twisted, you can't see it. In order to get this effect to work, what we need to do is remove the polarisation grid on the front. Now that's not too difficult because all LCDs have them stuck on the front. Sometimes there's a couple of layers. There might be an anti-glare layer, there's a polarisation layer and sometimes a pretty tough piece of plastic to keep everything from scratching and breaking. What you need to do is take that piece off and it'll come off, sometimes it comes off as one whole piece. And this is a bit of polarisation film and you can see I'm kind of grey behind it because that light is now in a grid and we're only getting a bit of it through which is why the light is so bright. In order to get that off it is a little bit challenging. What you need to do is go around the edge with a knife, not too sharply or you'll break the glass underneath, just enough to score the plastic. Then we need to get something under there and lever it off and remove that plastic film, like this. Okay, it's making the start on it that's a challenge. What you do is get yourself a knife blade and just run around those edges. You don't need to go too deeply or too heavily with it, just a light run around. And then start at one corner until you can get it under there and you'll find that the polarizing layer, which is that layer there, will begin to lift off. And then you get a flat bladed knife like this palette knife and start sliding it under the polarizing film and easing it off. If it won't ease off, then get back to your knife blade. The first bits are a pain, that's for sure, but once you can get your palette knife blade under there, actually it starts to become a lot easier and it just starts to peel off and you can gently peel that off by forcing the knife blade underneath the plastic coating. And we just continue with that around the whole surface. So when you turn the computer on and you've removed that front piece of polarisation film, what you see is a white screen. The first grid's still in place, so the light's all travelling in one direction. It's still getting twisted because it's still coming through the LCD, but because there isn't that front one going in the opposite direction, you're still seeing all of the light, and so you see a white screen until we do that. And the computer comes back because we put the polarization film back in place. Now, because we don't have to have a polarization film right there, you can get a bit of this film, make yourself some glasses, and only when you look through those glasses can you see that. Now, I thought that was pretty fun, really, and Luke pointed it out to me. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a really easy thing to do. Any LCD screen pretty much can do it. If you've never done it before, you're probably better off using an old screen because you might press a bit too hard. This stuff can be a bit tough sometimes to get off. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.